Let's have a look at Freely's ebook, or rather the before and after photo that she's promoting her ebook with. So paleo diet before and after. Freely, which is paleo diet? On the left. On the left. And this is you paleo or vegan? That's me vegan. Paleo. Okay, so vegan. I'm so vegan. on the left, the bikini is fat ones, paleo, the slim is vegan. Paleo equals fat, vegan equals slim, fit, healthy, sustainable. Tasty. Tasty. Done. Tasty indeed. Thanks for watching. Well, you got to really appreciate the irony of the ending of the video there. Don't get scammed. So I guess don't buy the Narc's ebooks would be a good advice or his clothing stuff. Now, did you notice the photos they were using, the before and after photo? She eats 2,000 to 5,000 calories a day and doesn't eat anything cooked or heated until after 4 p.m. This, she says, has helped her shed 40 pounds over the years. Yeah, that photo. Do you see something strange about it? I'll let Sandra finish off this video as I let her start this video. Your beloved banana girl is a big bullshit artist. Freely's entire banana girl business is based around one big fat lie. Only a jackass of the highest degree would do something like this to fool everybody into believing that they've lost more weight than they really have. Original photo, fathead photo. Original photo, fathead photo. You can see it's stretched just by looking at the photo. Look at that. Before, after, before, after. But when enough people make false promises, words stop meaning anything. Then there are no more answers, only better and better lies. Recently, while on vacation with our two grandsons, ages three and six, we came across this crime scene with two police cars, four officers, and one bad guy. The boy's first question was to me, what did you do, Grandpa? I told them I didn't know what the bad guy did. Next they asked, how can we tell he's a bad guy, Grandpa? I answered, because he's in handcuffs. They continued, he doesn't look like a bad guy. His face looks nice and his clothes are clean. I explained to them that you can only tell who the bad guys are after they are caught. Before the discovery of their wrongdoings, they look just like good guys. And most of them even believe themselves to be good guys. Finally, my grandsons wanted to know if the bad guy was going to hurt them. But I assured the boys, the bad guy won't be able to hurt anyone if the authorities do their job. I'm not afraid of you, you know, you're not gonna bully me into silence like you've done to everybody else.